Hi guys, welcome back to Feminism on Trial. Today we're putting mothers on trial. How could mothers possibly be on trial? And I'm not even talking about single mothers, shockingly. I'm talking about mothers. Why are they on trial? Well, one of the ways feminism destroys, which is what it does, it destroys, is it seeks to change the definition of the words that we use commonly. A word like mother, um, what it means. I think people forgot the word mother is also a verb. It's not just a noun. It's not just, oh, something came out of my my womanly private parts and now I'm a mother. No. Yeah, you have to do something. In my opinion, you have to do more than give birth to actually be a mother. You have to participate in the mothering of the offspring. When you hear women say that they can't wait to have kids, they can't wait to have kids. Some of them do mean that they want to be a mother. Some of them literally mean, I want to have kids. They think of them as possessions. They think of them as, I mean, it's like getting a new toy, right? Um, they're not thinking about what they're going to do. They're thinking about how much joy they're going to get. They're thinking about what they're going to get, not what they're going to give. Now, when a woman wants to be a mother, and in my opinion, this is the, the best way and the only wholesome way to it's only reason to have offspring as a, as a female person is that you, you have something to give them. But in this day and age where children are raised by school, daycare, camp, lessons, going over to their friend's house, their tablet, I mean, anything except you know, mom saying, hey, you know, what'd you do at school today? And then actually listening and keep going until maybe somebody said something nasty or, you know, maybe there was an embarrassing moment and you didn't know the answer. I hate to use the cliche teaching moment, but if you don't speak to your children or participate with your children in life, if you're never with them and you never talk to them, there won't be any teaching moments. And if there are no teaching moments, there's no teaching, at least not from you. And if you're not teaching them, who is? Well, they're children. They learn all the time. So who's teaching them is whoever they're around, even if that's YouTube, even if it's Ariana Grande, even if it's Cardi B. Oh, God, I'd say hope not, but I already know it's true. Um, how can they, po how can these mothers and fathers possibly be okay with that? I think to myself, I don't think they even take two seconds out of their day to think about it. I think they think, and I'm just gonna talk about moms now because I am a woman and I'm going to talk about women. Uh, I don't think they've ever thought about it. They haven't taken, you know, the time to think, okay, how, how do I want to rear this child and how am I going to go about that? What's my part in that? Drive them to school, drive them to this lesson or that lesson, and cross your fingers that they have good role models? The mom is the role model. 
but if you don't have that to give or you don't want to give it, then you shouldn't be having a child. But that's where feminism comes in with this whole thing. You can have whatever you want. So if you want a child, you can have one. And you can participate with this child on your time. You know, after work, after they're, you know, you've picked them up from daycare, then you can, you know, whatever. No biggie. It's like a hobby. It's like something else that you do. It's on the list. That is not the way. That is not a mother. It's just not. That's not a mother. Taking your kid to daycare constantly is not being a mother. Expecting school to teach them morality is not being a mother. I'll go a step farther. Taking them to church and they're in their little church group with the people their own age, coloring or whatever it is that they do in there, depending on the church. That's not mothering. Sure, it's a good thing to do. I hope they do that. But they need to hear about spirituality, religiousness, and God, all of that. They need to hear that from their parents. You don't get to outsource parenting. And that's all that seems to be done nowadays. And it leads back to feminism because feminists and feminism, it's feminism because feminism created feminists, not the other way around. So feminism has lured the women out of the house because she should have a job just like the guy. Why should he have all the fun? Because having a job is so much fun. They lured them out of the house and in doing so, they changed the definition of what a mother is. And now everybody except the people who made the child are raising the child. And this has been true for several decades. And all you have to do is look around or turn on the news, see the state of the world. And you have a couple generations now that were not raised by mothers. Or again, take it another step farther. I'm going to do it. They weren't even really wanted aside from being, you know, a possession or some kind of a, an achievement. Thanks. See you next time.